All right, hello. Welcome back to another kind of ranking video. Today I want to go over my favorite EDM from the last year and share it with you guys. To get this started, I was going to blur out all the songs that weren't in, you know, weren't what, what I was talking about. However, if you want, you can just look in the description and see all the songs in the first place. So there's really no point in doing that. Most of these songs are on Spotify. I just picked out 10. They're in no particular order. However, there is one song in SoundCloud, so everything will be listed. The SoundCloud song and then the playlist. With all this being said, let's just start rolling through these. I named it Best EDM of 2021. That's, of course, my opinion. So if you have any gripes with that. Um... Anyways, to get into this. A lot of these songs are going to have a trending theme. Obviously, it's my personal opinion, so that thing that I look for in a song is whether it be good mixing, whether it be punchy drums, whether it be good sound design, compression, that sort of thing. It's all going to be kind of apparent in all of these songs. That's kind of where my taste lies, and then I'll just go through the songs and you can hear for yourself. So, to get us started, Moonboy Occult. This song kind of took me by surprise because Moonboy hasn't really been somebody who's been super on my radar. Obviously he makes good tutorials and he is pretty out there in terms of exposure on YouTube or at least in the YouTube recommendations that I've gotten. He's up there with like Moonboy, he's up there with Dr. Ozzy, up there with you know Bishu, those people who make music and they post it to their channels. Uh, at least those are the ones that I think of when I think of music production. And he kind of came out of nowhere with this song. I feel like it's a lot different from the other songs that he's previously come out with. And this one for me is a lot better in my opinion from the rest of the songs or the rest of his catalog. I feel like it has really good punchy drums. The compression is really good. Sidechain is really good. Sound design is really good. Song arrangement is... I think it's not one of those songs where it's stretched out too long. He incorporated his own vocals. It doesn't feel like it's just dragging on for a long time. So all of those things kind of combined put this song on the list. And this was actually the first song I thought of when I was making this list because it's one of the songs that I've listened to the most over the past year. Moving forward, we have Ray Volpe with his song Elastic. And he's, again, one of the artists that I'm not really too into. However, when he comes out with a song that I like, I really like it. There's not just kind of this in-between point where it feels like he's stacking things that don't work together or he's making a song that I've, I've heard before. However, with this song, I feel like it's a unique arrangement in the drop. The synth leads are very well done. They're not too muddy or they don't fit in the mix, but they are melodic and they're tense where they need to be. And he incorporates those melodies into the drop where it brings that kind of melody back into a otherwise tense part of the song. Again, following that same pattern, the drums are very punchy, sidechain is very well done, and the mixing is very, very well done. Moving forward, this is a new artist that I just found this year. His name is Ivory, and this is a song Fusion. You're talking about Ivory. In this song, it's that kind of or halftime rhythm pattern that is pretty common in a lot of rhythm or whatever genre you want to classify it as. And it's not so much that the pattern is so unique, but the use of sound design and the underlying noises and um, synthesis that he's done in the song is very well done. And it's something that is unique and that you want to keep coming back to listen to, even though it's a similar pattern or it might sound... Um, semi-repetitive in some cases however he gets right into the drop again he doesn't drag it on too long and it's one of those songs where if you just want to throw it on you know for a couple minutes it's fun because you're going to be able to listen to that whole song you're not going to have to listen to you know an intro and then a pre-drop and then a drop and then a post drop and all these extra things that he might throw in to increase song length so that's one thing that I like and one thing that I as an artist have kind of accepted not to drag on songs super long because most of the time I mean for me, at least, I don't want to listen to a five-minute song if I like the song. I just want to listen to it, and then it keeps that kind of want for me to want to listen to it again because I'm not spending five minutes listening to it. You know, that's that's a good majority of a car ride if you're only driving 30 minutes. You can listen to, you know, 
the song six times if you wanted to. That's not very much for that short. Whereas if it was like a three minute song, you listen to a 10. Moving forward, Cyclops is again one of those artists that this past year, I mean, I've liked his music before, but this past year he's really developed his own sound design and his own method. And this is a song UV. Yo, check this out. And he really, I know he started using, or maybe not started using, but in this specific song, I believe he's using um, Razor or he's using different synthesis programs other than, you know, serum or other than maybe pigments or those type of things. But he's kind of dialing it back in terms of using what everybody else is using and definitely what everybody else is doing. This has a very simple drop. However, it's very unique to his style, I feel like. And some of his other songs, including his newest collab with Atlians, the customer service collab, I feel like he's really developed his own sound. And I feel like if you heard this song, you say, oh, okay, I know that Cyclops. Again, the drums are very punchy. They are where they need to be in terms of the mix and in terms of what kind of drums they need to be to fix the song. So those things being considered, I feel like this is definitely one of those songs that needed to make it on the list. Moving forward, Dr. Ozzy is one of those artists that I found last year, again, I mentioned before with the Moon Boy song, how he is a kind of content creator, a tutorial maker. He goes in and dives into how so-and-so can make their sound and his take on it. And with this song, I, I found him through his YouTube channel. I wanted to check out his music because his YouTube channel, he's very knowledgeable in the things that he does and he's very knowledgeable in getting the type of sound that he's going for in his music. So this song is a collab with Dyadic, it's called All Hail. And again, following the theme of Elastic and UV, it's very kind of a pattern where I don't really know where he drew his influence from for it, but the pattern is very unique and it's very kind of punchy. It's very rave or festival worthy. And I feel like it's one of the songs that if you haven't heard before, out of all of these songs, I would check that one out first and foremost because it's so unique and it's, you know, int introducing you if you don't know this artist to a new artist. Moving forward, the song is a remix from Black Sun Empire, and I feel like Black Sun Empire is one of those artists that have been around for a long time. Even if you haven't listened to them, I'm sure you've heard of them. Um, this is a Vo remix, or VOE, I'm not sure how to pronounce their name, but it's actually a, a combination of Don't You and Stasis off of Black Sun Empire's first album. <laughs> And I think the use of sound design, the use of how he used the previous stems to make this kind of new creation are really unique. And again, following those same things, the mixing is really well. However, this is one of those drum and bass songs instead of a halftime rhythm or dubstep song. And it's very unique. It sounds very well mixed. If you listen to the song in your car, if you listen to it on studio monitors or um, anything that's going to have good audio clarity, this song is one of the songs that is like, wow, you can really hear the depth of the bass. You can hear the depth of where the drums are sitting. You can hear kind of those high frequencies and how we mix them, the wideness and certain elements of the song. Very well done in terms of a remix, especially two different songs from an artist that I've never heard of. Bringing it back to somebody that I'm sure we've all heard of, Nightmare Zomboy. Dream collab. I'm sure that they had so much fun making the song. Again, one of those simpler arrangements, but the sound design is really well done. And introducing Georgia Koo into the song brings that kind of human element into it that you can sing along to as, you know, as a human. It's one of the songs that you can come back to, not just so much for the electronic elements, but for the melody and, you know, the vocal elements as well. The only gripe I have with this song specifically is it does feel a little bit repetitive. I feel a lot of Zomboy songs, maybe not all of them, but Battlefields, Invaders, these songs feel a little bit drug out, even if they're not super long, but I just feel like they could be condensed a little bit. However, that's just a small issue and it's not something that is super apparent. It's just, I mean, if you don't want to listen to the rest of the song, you can skip it. It's not a big deal. Moving forward, if you have watched any of my other videos or if you've looked at my Spotify biome, Must Die is one of the artists that I draw a lot of inspiration from. I don't listen to his music a ton, but I've listened to it enough to where I, 
I like the sounds that he's putting in there and I've taken that as inspiration and develop it into my own sound. And this song is the intro track off of his newest album, Crisis Vision. And for this song, it's kind of like a longer intro song. However, instead of it being just a drawn out intro to a movie where, you know, where you're seeing all the cast and whatnot, it's kind of interesting and the sound design elements that he put into it are engaging and it leads into the next track. So I like it as kind of if you're gonna listen to the album or you can even put it at the top of your playlist and introduce you know, the rest of your songs, kind of like a THX intro if you're watching a movie. The sound design again is really well done. It's not super well mixed, however, it fits the style of it kind of being dirty and harsh and those types of things that I'm sure he's going for in his music because he's kind of that grimy, you know, UK based type influence I feel like and it's done really well in that lens if you're looking at it through that. Last on Spotify is Marauda and Marauda again has been one of those artists who's been around for a little while. I'm sure you've heard of him if you've heard of Wooly or if you've heard of Sullivan King or if you've heard of Excision or those types of I feel like he's kind of in line with them even though he's not as popular however if you've heard of those artists I feel like you've heard of Marauda and that is that Marauda song by him. And I feel like if I was him, it'd be this would be the song that I can show people and be like, hey, I make music. This is the type of music I make. This is kind of what I can do as an artist. These are my mixing techniques. These are this is how I go out making a song that I really want to show people and that I want them to remember this song when they think about me as an artist. The drop and so forth isn't too too special in this genre. However, I feel like the sound design makes up for where the drop lacks. Again, following that theme, the mixing is very well done. Even though it is a little bit longer of a song, I feel like it's listenable for the whole length, even though it, you know, it, it's about double the time as other songs in the same genre. Last but not least, we have a artist that I don't personally know but I've talked to him over social media and his name is Noetica with the song Broken. broken. And this is actually a free download so if you want to go download it and add it to your library or whatnot go give it a shot it's actually really good sound design really good arrangement i don't really feel like i've seen or heard something quite down this alley of sound design or arrangement but again it's kind of a shorter song it's not really too in depth where you have to you know sit down for five minutes to listen to it you can kind of just throw it on listen to it it's really well done the intro is really well done great use of vocals great use of leading into the drop without it being too too much of a flip or whatnot and for being an up and coming artist, the mixing is really good. I know that he spent a lot of time on making the song, making sure the mixing was well, the arrangement was done. And on top of that, working a full time job. So a lot of props goes to him for such a good track and, you know, trying to balance a full time job and whatnot, where a lot of these other artists, you know, that's all they do. That's they can spend all day doing it. But big props to him again. In terms of my favorite EDM for last year, that wraps it up. If you want to listen to any of this music or the Spotify playlist, check the links below. The SoundCloud link will be there as well. If you like these types of videos, let me know and I'll keep them coming. With all this being said, thank you for watching, especially if you watched this far, and we'll see you again next time. Three, two, one,